What's going on guys? Welcome back to Fall Inside TV. Uh, on today's episode, we're trying to catch a little bit of bass in Sacle. Um, it's a Sunday, off of work. I'm ready to get out on the water. I got the boat hooked up and I uh, got everything all rigged up the night before. Feels good to have everything ready the night before. A lot of times I'm scrambling to do stuff early in the morning. Feels great to have it all done, ready to rock. I'm about to go into this bait shop real quick and try to see if I can't get my hands on some shiners. Uh, I might fish with some live shiners today if they don't want to mess around with the jigs. But um, yeah, in the early morning, I'm going to start with bass. I'm going to try to fish bass early in the morning. Uh, it's about to crack daylight here. I'm about to get the boat in the water. I'll be fishing for bass first. And then uh, once that sun gets up, I'm going to be fishing around some docks and stuff and maybe under some trees and some treetops and stuff like that and try to catch some sockley. So yeah, guys, about to go in the bait shop, get some ice, get some snacks, and uh, get some shiner. So I'll see y'all on the water. Oh, there he was. Come on. Oh, that gotta be a goggle eye purchase, huh? No way, that's a bass. Just chewing on it. Let's go. First bass of the day, right off that tree. I actually saw him come up and hit a second ago. I wasn't sure if he was still gonna be there, but he most certainly was. Not very big, but look how beautiful these little fish are. Look at that, look at all the coloration on them. Beautiful fish. First one of the day, y'all. Thanks for the grease. Let's go. Always feels good to get that first fish in the boat, even if it is a little one. Any big bass today that we catch, guys, we're gonna be throwing them back, but like I always say, dinks are for the grease. At least sometimes. Sometimes I throw them back. All of them, you know, but Today we're going to be keeping a few because I also like to eat fish. And if my late morning sockelay run don't turn into nothing, I'd like to come home with something. There he goes. Oh, he got off. Oh, I didn't set the hook. Oh, he was sitting right off that point, man. God. Kind of figured he was just on there. The way he choked that thing. Let's see if we can get him again. Just by chance. 
pretty sure he felt that hook though. And that was unfortunate. There you go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Another bass in the boat, y'all. Another one in the boat, y'all. Let's go. Perfect size, man. Exactly what I'm looking for. I would like to catch a couple big ones too, but as far as as far as keepers, that's exactly what I'm looking for. Let's go. Let's go. Just plucking them off these little these little stretches of bank here. Another little bass for the grease. Let's go. I'm using this uh, California Craw worm here. Two watt hook, offset. It's a Z-Man, Z-Man bait here. Oh, he spit it right out. Yeah. Come on, hit it again. Kind of had a little bird nest there. All right, come on. Let's try this again. He's right there. He's still right there. I know he is. I don't know if he felt the hook or what. There you go. <laughs> Another one. Another little one. I'll throw this one back. He's a little bit too small. Down here in Louisiana, our waters are extremely plentiful when it comes to bass and so what you do is you have to sort through so many small bass just to get to one or two big ones and that's a good problem to have obviously but it is a problem <laughs> part of the reason why i eat fish why i eat these bass Let's go. I knew I was gonna pull one from back there. It's good. Another one for the ice chest, boys. If y'all enjoying the video so far, make sure y'all leave it a thumbs up. Let's go. All right, you guys. Got my little bait bucket here. I'm about to do something I've actually never done before. I have never fished for soccer lake with live shiners. I've seen people do it on, on YouTube and I've heard of people doing it around me, uh, but I've personally never done it. I kind of always looked at it as it's kind of like cheating, you know? But I figured I'd give it a shot. Like I said, never done it before. Uh, let me know what y'all think in the comments. Do y'all think it's cheating? Do y'all think uh, fishing for a cycle with live shiners is like cheating? Or do y'all think it's just another way to catch them? I don't know. A lot of people use like live scope and all of that kind of stuff. Here's the setup here. Got a little slide cork here about 18 inches deep got a little 
split shot down here about five or six inches above the hook I, I just did that for accuracy purposes really I didn't really need it because I'm only fishing 18 inches but I figured I'd do it for, for accuracy and I have no idea where the cyclae are here but we're gonna try we're gonna try all over we're gonna try docks we're gonna try treetops we're gonna try full foot off the docks we're gonna try everything so I'm kind of just gonna let the let the shiner do the work, you know? Little guys. I got three dozen of them. And I'm gonna go just below the spine. Right there. Make sure he's still alive. Oh, we're gonna give that a shot, boys. I'm gonna see what happens. I might even, I'm probably gonna catch bass. That's probably what I'm gonna catch. <laughs> Fishing for bass with, with artificial, that's probably what I'm gonna catch up on these docks. I wouldn't be surprised. But the goal is to catch soccerly. Like I said, y'all, first timer, first timer here, so. If my setup ain't right, y'all put it in the comments. Let me know if my setup is wrong. Let me know if I can do something better. I'm always looking to I'm always looking to improve. Let's go. Bass. I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. We're gonna have a hard time. We're gonna have a hard time sorting through the bass, I think, to get to the cycle. You know, like I said, it's it's a good problem to have, you know. He'll eat. <laughs> They're gonna make me switch to artificial real quick. <laughs> it's kind of slow, slow pace for me. All right. All right, take it easy. If this a bass, it's a big one. Come on now. Catfish, I figured it wasn't no bass. Just the way it was fighting. It's all right, I like catfish. I like catfish. There we go. In the boat. Catfish, baby. I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> you go boys. Catfish. Perfect eating size. Go in there with the rest of them. Not the target species, but it'll do. I'm gonna try a couple different methods here. I'm gonna still have my uh, my shiner. But I'm also going to go with this little small, little light jig head to fall really slowly under a cork. And uh, 
I'm just gonna alternate back and forth between the two. Give me a little bit of an option to uh, do something I'm a little bit more familiar with. I got a jig head here. This is a heavy jig head, and that's what I'm gonna put the shiner on. And I got the light jig head for the artificial. We'll see which one they like better. It's the one thing so far I'm not liking about shiners, man, is they're just coming off. Tell me if y'all got a better way to hook these things or if you just got to be gentle with them. Ooh, there we go. Sackle. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about right there, baby. Woo! Winding down to the end of it here. Sackle coming alive. What's up, man? Better get the pole out, bro. <laughs> Did he just pull him off of that, that fast? He pulled him right off of that. Look at that. A little soft mount sucker. He's still sitting right there. See if I can give him a big juicy one. Since he already knows what it is, he might eat this dead one right here. He already knows what it is. He might eat that dead one. Come on, baby. Goggle eye. Goggle eye. I'll take it. That's what you were. Big old goggle eye. War mouth. Rock bass. Whatever y'all want to call them. I know it. I know y'all watching. Y'all from all over the place. I know because whenever y'all ordered my hats, y'all ordering them in every single state but Louisiana. Small cycle. It's the right species, wrong size. <laughs> Be free, buddy. Turtle right here. There we go. There we go. Goggle eye, big old goggle eye. Cool. Big old goggle eye. What I'm talking about. Big goggle eye. That's good eating right there, y'all. Fun to catch. Very similar to Sakali. Yeah, what we got so far. Looking good so far, y'all. It's something, y'all. It's something. Having fun, fun y'all. I love it. I love it. I try not to hit people's docks. Catfish. Catfish. It's them dark boat slips, man. You find them really dark boat slips. And you find catfish. 
find them dark holes and you find catfish. It's all right. He gonna eat. It's been a mixed bag today, y'all. A little bit of everything. Catfish, sockley, bass, goggle eye. Pretty much the only thing I hadn't caught yet is a, a bluegill. Little bitty one. Little biggie, little bitty goggle eye. Couldn't even, couldn't get that out of my mouth. Little bitty goggle eye. All right, y'all, I just now made it back to the house. About to get these fish clean. Woo! Let's go. So a couple of y'all had asked me, what is gun talk? I know y'all saw it on the hat. I'm sure if you listen to the podcast, you heard me mention it in the podcast, but chances are if you're asking what's gun talk, you probably don't listen to the podcast. So, And you might not even know we have a podcast, because I really only announced it on Instagram, to be honest. So if you ain't already listening to the Fall and Tide podcast, make sure y'all go to Spotify and Apple and check that out. And uh, gun talk is a local Louisiana firearm and ammunition dealer. It's actually... Uh, our only sponsor here with Fallen Tide. And if any of y'all are interested in ever purchasing a firearm, buying ammunition, stuff like that, y'all need to go check out Gun Talk. It's a Gun Talk store. It's gonna be in, the link is gonna be in the description below. And the reason that y'all need to go check that out is because they give discounts if y'all go through Fallen Tide. So what you can do is basically, if y'all are interested in buying a gun, reach out to either me or you can contact the owner, Mikey, through the website itself, so y'all can get some discounts on a firearm if y'all need to buy one. Uh, y'all saw me using the Beretta Outlander all year if you watch the duck hunting videos. I actually got that through Gun Talk, so he is a Beretta dealer. So yeah, just wanted to go over that with y'all, a couple y'all had asked what Gun Talk was. We about to put these fish in the grease and about to enjoy some good fried fish. Fresh caught, never been frozen. A good bass filet, look at that. I better not tell me nothing for eating bass now. All right, y'all, before we get out of here, I want to let y'all know I do still have a few of these brown and khaki hats in the hat store. I'll have that in the description if y'all want to buy these. Uh, we're running out pretty quick, but we do have a handful of these left. So I want to let y'all know that. Yeah, guys, we about to enjoy this fresh caught bass and catfish here. I've been really enjoying getting out this spring and uh, catching a few fish. I do like this time of year. As much as I like getting out and duck hunting, something about when that season changes and then you get out, everything turning green and uh, you get to get out and catch some fish. I do enjoy this time of year, guys. And if y'all enjoyed today's episode, I'd really appreciate it if you guys left it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what y'all wanna see me do next. I really appreciate y'all for watching and I'll see y'all next time on Fallen Tide TV. So y'all wanna see it? Good stuff. Mm.